Hello there and welcome to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can get your hands on a copy of Autodesk Maya 2019 on a three year student license. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Autodesk Education website. I'll put the link in the video description for you to follow or you can just Google Autodesk Education like I'm doing here. This will take you to the Autodesk Education Community website. On the home page you'll see a link for Maya Give that a click to be taken to the download page. Before you can download the software, you need to either sign in or create an account. It's absolutely free to sign up, so you might as well go for it. Okay, if you don't already have an account, you need to click on create an account and then fill in your details. You'll be asked which country your educational institution is in. I'm in the UK, so I'm choosing that. You'll then be asked about your educational role. I'm an educator, so I'm choosing that option, but if you're a student, you'll probably want to choose the student option. Once that's done, click next. You'll then need to fill in your personal details. Make sure you use a real email address because you'll be sent a confirmation email containing a link which you need to click to complete your registration. You'll then need to create a password and agree to the terms and conditions. Once that's all done, you can click on the create account button. You'll now receive the confirmation email. Go to your inbox, find the email and then click the link to verify your account. Once your account has been successfully verified, you can go back and sign in with the email address and password you just created. Next up, you'll need to select the version of the software that you want to download. You can see that Autodesk offer a few earlier versions as well as the latest. I want to upgrade to the latest version though, so I'm choosing Maya 2019. You'll then select the operating system you're using and your preferred language. At this stage, your license key will be generated and will appear on screen. I've blurred mine out so that none of you scopes can try to use it though. You should make a note of this, but the software should automatically verify your license once it's installed. Now you can get the software installed. You'll usually want to just click on install now, but if you click on the little arrow to the right of the button, you'll see that there are some other options. If for some reason the install now option isn't working, I recommend trying the browser download option. Anyway, it's fine for me, so I'm selecting install now. Accept the license and service agreement and click install. A file will now be downloaded. Once it's done, open it. This is the installer. There will be a small download and then the installer will open properly. In the installer, you can choose the option to install Maya on your computer. This screen lets you choose which components you want to install. I recommend installing everything. Why wouldn't you? Once you're happy with your selections, click on the install button. Now the installer will download and install everything. It's a pretty beefy download and the time it takes will depend on your connection speed and how busy the Autodesk servers are. It downloaded everything in around 25 minutes for me but I've sped it up in editing because it's boring to watch. Once everything is installed, you'll be greeted with this confirmation screen. This tells you that you've successfully installed Maya 2019. You can now click on the launch now button to open Maya. Your license is automatically verified, but if for some reason this didn't work, then you should have the license key in your email inbox. That was easy, wasn't it? But now you've got your shiny new software installed, you're going to need to learn how to use it. Don't worry, I've got you covered. If you're new to Maya, then you should check out my Maya tutorial for beginners. This covers everything you need to know to get started and takes around two to three hours to complete. Even better is that the entire tutorial is completely free. The link is in the description or in the card at the end of the video. If you're really getting into learning new software, then you might also want to join the Game Dev Academy community over on Discord. The link to be sorted into your house and join the Discord server is in the video description below. If you want a more up-to-date and thorough way to learn how to use Maya, then I really recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have got tons of video tutorials on Maya and they're suitable for complete beginners as well as seasoned professionals. I still use the Maya tutorials on Plural site to keep my own skills up to date. If you're just getting started in Maya, then you should check out the Maya 2018 Fundamentals course by Justin Marshall. For some reason he hasn't made one in 2019 yet. Use the link in the video description to start your 10 day free trial on Plural site. It's a free trial so you've got nothing to lose, but you have got some awesome new skills to gain. Okay, so that about wraps it up. If this video has helped you out, then please show me some love by hitting that thumbs up button below the video. I upload new videos regularly, including some damn fine tutorials using Maya and Unreal Engine. So be sure to hit that subscribe button too if you want to see videos like that. 
If you need any help or further information, then just drop me a comment below the video or you can contact me via Discord. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I believe that quality education should be available to everybody and for that reason all of the classes at Game Dev Academy are completely free and we're supported by our very generous school governors over at Patreon. If you'd like to become a Game Dev Academy governor and support our work as well as helping us to steer the channel in the right direction then use the link in the description to be taken to the Patreon page.